All right, guys, welcome to Marine Life today. And uh, before we get started on today's topic and video, quick update. Uh, last video, you guys saw that I added uh, my gem tank and the old tank to the tank. And as you can see, it was very successful. And the way that I pulled it off, everybody's happy. They're all waiting to get fed now. I mean, there's some little bit of bickering sometimes, but it's normal tank stuff. But everybody's getting along for the most part. So I guess adding two at the same time does help. So I would say this was a successful event. All right, guys, let's get into today's video. Hey guys, welcome to Marine Life today. In this uh, video, today we're gonna be uh, diving into some parameters in your tank. More topic today is, is a little bit more of an investigation type thing. Um, lately, my pH, you know, my house is not very big. I have a lot of animals and you guys know what that leads to. It's literally low CO2 numbers. No one tell you don't be a uh, CO2 chasers, but with CO2 comes growth. Um, if you notice my CO2, it is at seven, 7.84, which is not bad. Um, it's okay. So what we wanna look for numbers, you know, that, that's in within range. That's considered to be acceptable. Acceptable pH level in a basic salt water system is between 7.6 and 8.4. But you know, reef tanks you can see more sensitive. Um, normally, you want to keep it at 8.0 to 8.4. Um, lot of the studies that they've done a lot of, uh, as far as pH, it's it's kind of important to reef tank lately. What I've done research on. So if you're not seeing core growth that you know really big. They suggest uh, growing a, uh, a line outside, open your windows to a lot of fresh air. What happens is that the carbon dioxide in that you breathe out, the fish tank gets sent to water and then it reduces your pH levels in the tank. Skimmers help with that kind of stuff. I notice if I turn my skimmer off for mains, whatever, I see my pH drop. Um, a couple of times I've seen that. So today you guys are gonna help me experiment with something new. So funny story, I went to what I call to buy me some uh, DI resins pack. And when I was in there, I ended up being confused. I bought the wrong thing. So I bought this. I don't know if you guys can see that now, but CO2 scrubber. So today, you guys gonna help me experiment with a CO2 scrubber. I heard good things about them. Uh, they're kind of small. When I bought my new skimmer, I seen you guys have also have a video there online about it. And um, and I bought the CO2 scrubber I have not installed yet. And I'm looking to install today with you guys as your help to see how much it will help my pH levels high. Now I heard some things about it. So being that it's a P, uh, CO2 scrubber, I may go through this media within a week. Depends how bad it is. So, unbox it here for you guys real quick. This is what it looks like, as you can see. So I ordered this when I got my new uh, skimmer and I haven't had time to install it. And I wanna make a video for you guys as well how to install this. And I did a little bit of research. The people, they, they do it in different ways as well. Um, that's what it looks like. It looks like a uh, RO canister, where basically yeah, people do DIY, but I mean, I paid 35 bucks for this, for that kind of money. I just read to buy it and I just bought it. So the concept behind is you put the uh, CO2 um, media inside the container and they say a little bit of uh, uh, DIY wa RO water in the bottom of it. And when it turns purple, it's pretty much exhausted. And it uses the media. Now, interesting things that I found about the uh, CO2 media is that, if you don't know, this actually is Hawkwasser. 
pure, I didn't know that myself either. So this is the same thing as pretty much cock washer, but except it's made for the CO2 scrubber. So you can't use a water like cock washer, but it's literally down the same avenue. So the way people install these is you're supposed to go to from one hose and I guess BRS put the long hose, yeah, long hose here. So you go from one side of the skimmer and you put it directly to the pump or you can put on a silencer. You don't, have to, you don't have to have a silencer, but whatever is easier. And you put that on the top. It says in here, and this is the outer course. So you want to put this going into the uh, pump. And then it will suck it in and out. Well, actually, I'm sorry. The out goes to the pump because it's sucking the air out. And this is the side you're breathing in. The oxygen, so it converts the uh, air and takes out the, the CO2 out. How long it will last, I don't know. Some people put Y valves on it because they can switch back and forth to the ambient air and the CO2 scrubber. So what they said that is when they receive, uh, when they get to the desired level of the pH, they will shut off the uh, scrubber to save media and just let the skimmer breathe from the air regularly and then when it goes back drops then open the, the scrubber again to allow it to uh you know filter the air when it's breathing into it so in today's video you guys can help me install this now normally people do in the bottom and i'll show you where my skimmer's at few inches later guys okay, so normally people install it down here and you can see my skimmer this is a new skimmer is working great see how much stuff's in there already um, I literally love it. I don't know how it's gonna change when I put the uh, CO2. I might have to make some adjustments to it. I'm not sure yet. Hopefully not because I had. I think I got it dialed in really well. Uh, when the wife complains about the smell, you know you're doing something right. So um, let's go ahead and install this. Much later. All right. So we need some instructions. It's going to be close to the skimmer because you can't have that much slime between. So I'm going to have to install it down the bottom there by the skimmer. First, I just decided I'm just going to put this real quick. That way I can measure where. So the way I fill this, move the uh, cover here, the pad next. They have a pad in here. Get the media. And there it is. So I'm gonna fill it up now. Much, much later. I guess you want it tight as possible. Let me get a little bit of mess here. Pouring it. So I fill it up that way. I guess we gotta leave a little bit of room though for the sponge. So. It's just a sponge it came with. I don't know if I'm double sponging it, but it's what I was trying to read about. I guess I'm gonna squeeze it a little bit there. And that's it, it's packed. Now, it says add one, table, one tablespoon of RODI water to the bottom. So I'll do that when I get ready to activate it. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and install to see where it goes. Um, well, I'm going to put it exactly what's going to be next to it up there, so in place I see it. So we'll install that real quick, and then we'll come back. Much, much later. So tapping screws. Oh, it's kind of hard to get it tight in here as it is. Um, but I hand tighten it. See it's working in here. There's suction in a little bit of a a little water down there on it so it's pretty much dry media now we just look out to see what it'll be like and the numbers change or not because about my skimmer it shuts off automatically i don't want sometimes i recommend putting tube up here and then go back into here so it kind of recirculate but as you can see i have a lot of issue where it comes out the top it bubbles and i want that going into my co2 scrubber so i'm going to try like this to see what numbers I get and how high my pH, my pH stays low, uh, pretty low. So I don't know how good this actually works, 
we'll have to be worried about cutting it on and off or not. But a lot of people have also they put a Y valve here where you can shut off the valve if it's too high of a pH to shut it off and it goes back to stuff from the ambient. So, like I said, it's all new to me. I connected it to my silencer up there. It's easier. And uh, I guess we'll check the numbers in about an hour and let you know where it's at. This will turn purple. I'm hoping it'll last more than a week because it'll be a pain about to change every week. But if it'll grow my growth, if it grows the corals at 50% better, then it might be worth the investment. Right. But we'll find out. Let's keep an eye on that pH now, guys. Five minutes later. All right, guys. So quick update. It's only been like an hour since we installed the... Uh, co2 scrubber whole and wow i mean it gets results this quickly i thought it was gonna be tomorrow but as you can see here i went from 7.7 .7 low look at it, it just shot right up i'm at 8.05 i can see why people will shut it off now when it gets too high um i'm gonna have to figure out how to modify this maybe might put that t in there i guess without y so I can uh, shut it off when it needs to be shut because man, it's climbing pretty quickly, pretty high. Um, I might set up my Neptuno to cut out the uh, the skimmer if it gets past 8.4. So I'm able to do that. So I might do set that. So if my skimmer, uh, if it goes to 8.4 and above, it'll shut off the skimmer automatically. So I can just do it that way until I figure out what I'm going to do about it. So I'll give a 24 hour update tomorrow and we'll see where it's at. But in an hour, it bumped up a lot. I mean, that's pretty good. 8.05. So, all right, guys. Many tic tacs later. All right, guys. So 24 update of the uh, CO2 scrubber. I don't see any purple yet, but my light's not helping around right now. So I'm for my fuge. I had a good collection of... Uh, skimmer had to clean it out um so i was concerned about it rising too high and i talked about that because i don't have a y valve they recommend to put a valve there so you can let ambient air but my ph never got higher than 8.21 as you can see there so at 7.95 and that's with it running all the time so later on when the light turns off uh for the view just paint a button disconnect it um there's no really on off switch for it but for me running the few uh the co2 scroll open all the time increased it but didn't go over i couldn't even maintain over eight and it's been almost well it's been it's been over 24 hours but not two days yet um so we're about maybe what 36 hours if i had to say anything and i'm already dropping past eight so for me the co2 scrub is not really working mm, i don't know if it has to do with all the animals that i have i'm not sure but so i would call this a fail because honestly to have it eight <laughs> over 8.0 for 24 hours is not going to solve my issue so I'm actually looking to uh, running a line outside for a constant fresh air coming into the skimmer. But for now, thank you guys for watching and until next time, have a good one.